Excuse me, Arlene. Pardon me, Arlene. Sorry about that, Arlene and Edgar. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, the Zombie Metropolis series featuring Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and for all of you who celebrate it, Merry Christmas. <laughs> this this video is, will be released on Christmas Day. Um, and so, yeah, I just want to wish everybody who does celebrate Christmas a very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that kind of stuff. Okay, guys, we have, uh, it's, only, it's almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, so I want to get back to that corn before a nightfall uh, so you can see that I now have like a big old stack of shotgun shells in uh, my inventory and we got uh, this auto shotgun in the last episode if you if you missed that uh, it's a crappy one but hey it's an auto shotgun it's got 17 rounds and blam 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 only have one point in shotgun so you know that's not going to work in our favor but it's still going to be um, a much better solution than than the blunderbuss uh, how much damage does this do, by the way? It does 11 ranged damage. That was pretty close to, I think, what the blunders were doing, too. Um, I mean, they weren't doing that much more, but this, you know, we have 17 shots in succession with this guy, so. Um, it's only been uh, just a little bit since I left you in the last episode, and I put, I, I went and got a bunch of water, which is heavier, and I'll get out. And I just put, uh, well, actually, let's see. That does 14 ranged damage. That one does 13 this one does 11. So they do a little bit more, but, you know, those are blunderbuss one-shot thingamadoodles. Uh, so anyway, I put some stuff in there, and uh, we're just going to get... Whoa! What? Huh? Huh? How did that happen? This is kind of cool. How did I get into third-person view? Is it... No, it's not the F1. What? Okay, hold on. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> it was kind of cool looking, but I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, let's go. Um, yeah, let's go hit this this corn while we can. Um, so it was off over this way. I wanted to kind of see too if we kind of drive along the interstate. Well, we can't we can't get over there from that direction. So we got to go this way a little bit. But anyway, I wanted to see if there's some possible way we could cross. Passing gas. That place is going to have passing gas crates. Man, those things are a gold mine. So the, there is a road here, but it gets yeah, it gets all janked out. Well, I guess it keeps going this way, doesn't it? But, you know, if we could find a place we could cross, then we can just drive over there, and that's, that's going to help a lot. But I do know, you guys. Let's go look down this way. <clears throat> okay, so see, this road here goes through, but is it crossable. I can't remember. We were down here on foot a few episodes ago, but I just don't remember. Oh, you know what? Looks like it is. Oh, nice. Okay. It is crossable. We just have to kind of we whoop, weave in and out of this, but that's okay. We can handle that. Uh, you know, for a Range Rover, this thing doesn't <laughs> this thing doesn't handle hills and rough terrain very well. I'm just going to throw that out there. Uh, anyway, oh, there's a first, there's like the first big game we've seen. Edgar, get the hell out of here. I don't want to scare that deer away, I want to kill it. I don't want to scare it, I want to kill it. Nice. Our first deer kill, guys. Awesome. Let's try this out. Oh, yeah, we... If we're going to use this for our oh shit weapon, we've got to put some points into shotgun skill. That's all there is to it. That is all there is to it. 
He did? He did. All right, let's go get our first deer kill. Awesome. Come on, Range Rover. Yeah, we... <laughs> That shotgun was not hardly putting a dent in old Edgar, was it? Son of a... All right, well, we'll put it on the to-do list. I mean, we got so many other things to do, too. What the hell? Dude, can't a guy butcher a deer in peace? Okay. Yeah, this is the very first deer we have seen on this playthrough. Very first deer. At least the, one, the first one I've noticed. If you guys have seen one in an earlier episode, I didn't see it. All right, let's get uh, this loaded. And that's uh, looks like we got that loaded back up. Okay. Yeah, we're uh, our pistol skill and our, our shotgun skills leave something to be desired at this point. So... Something to work on, for sure. But I'm still going to finish getting, you know, our assault rifles maxed out because, you know, we're already three points into it. We might as well just finish it out. Okay, where the hell is that greenhouse at that we found? It's over this way, I think. Yeah, there it is. So there's a lot of zombos in this place. We're going to have to kind of, you know, single them out to get, to, to get them. Let's just park here with our vehicle. How are we doing on gas, by the way? Oh, we're doing okay. We are doing okay. Okay, so we got Ronald McDonald over there. Uh, I'm curious to see if that cement mixer works, too. Not that it's easier to get to than the Joe Bros. The Joe Bros is still a lot easier to get to. Come on, Ronnie. It's you and me, bud. Well, it was. Okay, we got a big mama next. The the red lights on my SUV are like really intense. Get you right in your big butt. Okay. Oh, shit, there's a dog over there. I still don't know what this is. Can we stand on it? It's like a... I don't know what it is. It's like a concrete pad or something, I guess. I can't wait until we can get a decent bow. I, I learned the schematic for the wooden bow, but we need more parts before we can actually make it. We found... I think two parts on uh, the Horde Knight, the big Horde Knight, but we're going to need a lot more than that to make a decent bow. Okay, who's next? We got Cowboy Bob, we got, I think, Edgar on the ground over there, another Cowboy Bob, a Marlene, and a dog. All right, that appears to clear out the zombos in this, in this uh, out, outer area here. So, let's go into here. This is where we want to get to. Imagine we probably got a bunch of Zeeks in here, though. I'm sure we do. Wolfies. Is this unlocked? Is... Oh no, really? An irradiated zombo? 
It's kind of scary. Uh, that guy could rip us a new one. So, oh shit. Okay. We can't put, we can't even put a frame here at all because of the things. Um, all right. You know what? Let, let's go around to the other side first. If we're going to kill that guy, we need to make sure we have enough distance between he and I. So we can get enough shots off on him to bring him down because he is one tough mofo. So let's just see what's uh, through this way. What in the hell's our game stage, man? We are 86. Yeah, well, that's about the time you start seeing irradiated. Okay, there's Skater Punk and a Creepy Crawly. Look at the crops in here, you guys. This is amazing. All right, well, let's start working on these guys one by one here. Ooh, he's feral. He's feral too, shit. Get out the big guns for these guys. Alright. We've got the tension of the irradiated mofo. We only have 25 rounds left in this weapon. That's not good. Oh, that's an irradiated biker. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, I don't think I want any of that. That's weird that the glass doesn't render in when we're this far out. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's drive around this way and just see what we might be able to do. Is that guy... Where is that guy? Yeah, kind of forgot we're a little bit low on ammo for our best weapon. All right, is that other glower still here? He sure is. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Whoa, shit, that scared me. <laughs> All right, how do we do this? We've got some zombies in here that are just a bit much for us to be able to take on yet. Uh, we can't put a frame down here, so that's not an option. Is that biker still over here? Creepy Crawly is. I don't know where the biker went. Let the fire soften him up a little bit anyway. Oh, oh shit, footsteps. Time to go. Don't you hit my Range Rover, you son of a. Where in the hell did that irradiated biker go? I'm a little bit nervous that he's still at large. Maybe he despawned. All right, old Greenie's still there. Oh wait, is that is that the biker? That is the biker, is it? Oh, I can't tell. I can't tell. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's the biker, all right. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, well, here. Let's get you lit up. Soften you up a little bit, too, pal. What the hell? Oh, man, we're just waking up everybody. Okay, let's go around the rosy again. He's still burning. Well, we did we did read that magazine that makes Molotovs burn longer. That's a that's a good one to get. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh man, so yeah, I don't know, you guys. This is not gonna be as easy to get into as I was hoping. If they would have been normal Z's, we could have picked them off one by one. But irradiated bikers, ah. Dangerous. Super dangerous. I mean, even if we could if we could draw them away, the only problem with that is that sometimes then uh, new sleepies will spawn. We just tickled him. I want to get the damn biker out of there. Excuse me, Arlene. Pardon me, Arlene. Sorry about that, Arlene and Edgar. Come on out there. There you go. Okay. So follow me. Everybody follow me. man <laughs> he's back of course he is yeah I figured that was gonna happen can we just get one thing of corn here two things of corn Oh shit! Let's go. All right, so we ninjaed all the corn out of there, and we got some nice little supply of potatoes in the process too. Okay, we got to get back uh, home, like pronto. Uh, where's my headlights? Okay, well that's one way to do it. <laughs> that is one way to do it. I think this road 
turns around this way. Oh, no, I guess it doesn't. Okay, we're going to have to go over here. There's no way we can cross uh, in that area there that we were just in. we got to go back over this way. I think, yeah, I think it's this road that we can get through. Is it? Alright, hold on. Oh no, we gotta go down here. Let's do this, actually. Let's just mark it. This is the intersection we need to get to. So that way we don't fumble around in the dark, because we, uh, we have one hour to get home before the little horde comes after us. Okay, well... We, uh, we got uh, all the corn out of there. So now what I'm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably hang on to, I don't know, maybe a third of it for when we eventually, you know, have the ability to make the seeds. And then the rest of it we're going to, we're going to use. Uh, and we're going to make ourselves some sham chowder. And boy, oh boy, is that going to be delicious. So, can we... We've got sham here. we got water here. we got potatoes and corn. Okay, so it takes two potatoes and two corn. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to... We're out of, we're out of time. I'm going to take a third of this corn well let's just make it 25 because I think you need five to make seeds and we're gonna hang on to that the rest of this we are gonna turn into chamois chowder uh, so let's grab some of this look at that you guys oh beautiful so we need six minutes of burn time 659, 608. Yep, that's good enough. Okay. Let's put the rest of this stuff in here. And, uh, oh yeah, we have we still have 51 corn. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay, we gotta get downstairs. I'm coming, Zombos! I'm coming. All right, let's grab this and this and a couple of those. And I don't think we need any water. Well, hello there, Mr. Military Guy. What I'm thinking I'm probably going to do is, now that I know that I can mine um, and these guys can't get to me, I mean, they probably could eventually, but... I don't know, it didn't look to me like they made any effort whatsoever to dig down to me last night from what we saw earlier. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is maybe every other night we'll, we'll fight the, the little horde every other night and then on the off nights we'll mine. I can't really do other stuff besides mine because you know then, the, then they can get to where I'm at, so... Come on, big mama. Oh, shit. Look at that. We got whacked. And we got the weighted head mod. Beautiful. I'm going to actually learn that. And uh, we will... What do I have on here right now? Uh, I've got the fortifying grip. Okay. So, yeah, we'll, if we can make that weighted head mod, we're going to make it and start using it. Because that's going to give us even more bang for our buck on our sledge here. Don't move when I'm trying to hit you. It's rude. Another drop. Ah, shoot, it got pushed out. I've been thinking about putting another block back there so I, I can get to the, you know, the bags that, that get kicked back. But the nice thing about having the block there is it forces them to jump up here so they can't just all rush, you know, in a hurry. All right, we better take one of these. I'm being a little careless here. Oh, Big Mom's going to glitch through. 
Come and get me, big mama. Uh, go down. <laughs> All right. Okay, she's down. Man, it's sure sending a lot of soldiers after us tonight. Oh, nope, got kicked back. Darn it. Those ones that drop really early in the night usually disappear before I can get to them in the morning. We got a point too, didn't we? We have to, we have to look at that. Big Mama, why do you keep coming through? Oh shit. Ah! What the hell? I can't move. She had me like pinned. I couldn't move. Or maybe it's maybe I hit the crouch key and I got stuck under that. I don't know, but I was not able to to get out of that situation. I think the zombies like my Santa hat. Normally, you know, on any night of the week, of course, they want to eat me, but when they see my Santa hat on, it just kind of makes them extra crazy. Right, Big Mo? She said right, in case you guys didn't pick up on that. Oh, nice. Antibiotics. Uh, let's repair this. We got a green baseball bat. That's kind of cool. Man, Nurse Nancy, you have one hell of a long reach there. A little bit, a little bit haxy, if you ask me. Right, we got a copper. Sucks that we're almost out of five, five, sixes. You know what we probably should do? We should probably go hit the big bookstore skyscraper. Um, so we can get a few more schematics. What? Where did, where did he go? I think he glitched all the way into the floor. That was weird. That chamber skill has improved. Okay, let's take a look at our uh, our points here. We got mother load up to five. Let's just bite the bullet and get 69er done and out of the way, and then we got it. It's going to come in super handy when we have to break blocks and stuff anyway while we're looting. And uh, when the time comes, uh, I'll be able to make, you know, blue level tools. Oh, no, I think I think all we need for that is a tier Oh, look at that stuff. Uh, is a tier 2. Did we get 556? Five, five, we didn't get any 556 five, five, rounds in that. Sending a lot of ferals after us now. Everything else is looking okay, so we're going to just be conservative here. Woo, big old lag spike opening that up. Got some worthless cash. It's not 100% worthless, but it's mostly worthless. We can get paper out of 10, but... <laughs> Oh boy. Well, I think uh, we're probably about out of time here. Uh, here's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let I'm gonna keep the camera running, but if nothing extraordinary happens for the rest of the horde night, I probably will not show it. And then I'll just meet you guys in the morning, and uh, 
go from there, okay? Uh, we don't really have a whole lot of time left in this episode anyway, so... Uh, the reason I'm, I sound a little bit uncertain is because I'm going to do some editing from the earlier footage, so I don't know for sure how much time we're actually going to have when I'm done with that. <laughs> Sledgehammer Kurt's just working that spider over pretty good, isn't he? So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning, unless, like I said, something really crazy happens in between now and then. Wow, that was a timely find. Since we're almost out of 556 and we got lots of 762s waiting upstairs. All right, I think that's it. Uh, are any of our drops still down there? No, unfortunately, they disappeared. However, however, Santa did deliver a superior grade AK to us last night. Yeah, baby. So that's got 58 range damage. This has 66, but it's also got a mod on it. Um, and that was timely too, because I'm damn near out of 556, but I've got quite a bit of 762 um, up above. Uh, so that's going to, gonna help quite a bit. Uh, we put another point into uh, machine gunner, so I'm probably just gonna put the next point into that and get that taken care of, and then we're maxed out on machine gunner as well. Can we um, can we make a machine gun? We, even if we can, we probably don't have the right work table for it. Oh, we can make an M60. That's right. We found a we found a schematic for it. But why why can we only make an E grade when we have four out of five machine gunner? I don't get that. Huh. That's interesting. Very interesting. Oh, well. Anyway, this is going to be a really nice weapon for us um, because, you know, I mean, it's the top grade. It's superior. And, um, you know, so what we'll do is we'll start using this uh, with 7.62s and hopefully build up 5.56s to come back to this one. Uh, but in order for us to make ammo, I think we need the tier 2 something-something table, like workbench. Or we need a ballistics table. Okay. And some of these... Okay, so the hollow point requires a tier 2 ballistics. Can we make a ballistics now? I, for some reason, I was thinking we can't, but I might be wrong about that. Okay, let's bring put the cobble in there. We have 50. We got, we're going to have to get some cement made up today. Uh, we got a, another Nicole's treasure map. Man, we're going to get all kinds of Nicole's treasure maps. Right, let's go back up here and take a quick look in the research station. For some reason, I was thinking I couldn't do ballistics right now. I had to wait. Okay, so... Ballistics table schem schematic. Oh, I never did pull the red T schematic out of there that we made. All right, so let's look at this again. So... Ballistics table tier two, ballistics table. So how do I? Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay, so in order to craft the tier one ballistics table, I need a tier two research station, which we also found the schematic for. Okay, I knew I had had read something and you know, and it was out of reach for for now. So, and we can do normal seven six twos in the tier one. Ballistics. Can we do five five sixes in the tier one ballistics? Uh, yes, we can. Okay, good. Excellent. All right. So we should have a nice big old pile of seven six twos in here. Well, not a gigantic pile, but decent sized pile. So we're gonna add those to our inventory. Then I got a bunch of other stuff I gotta clean up. I've got so much inventory management I need to take care of. I mean, I got stuff all over the place. And, um, yeah, so I got to take care of that. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to let you go here. I'm really, really tempted to hit that thing or, uh, or that one. It doesn't matter. They're both about the same distance apart, uh, to find, see if we can find the corn seed schematic and, you know, whatever else we can find too. But we also, we also went by somewhere over in here ish. A passing gas too and you know we 
the passing gas crates are amazing, um, you know, for, for schematics too. So I don't know. Um, the bookstore would be quite a, quite a crawl through, wouldn't it? So I'll think about that, but I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of housekeeping to do. I've got to do a bunch of inventory management. I've got a bunch of stuff I should be scrapping. And so I might go ahead and take this in-game day off, uh, day 24, and then meet you guys on day 25. Um, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do. And we could, we might very well just go hit the bookstore and, and just do it. Um, so I'll think about it, excuse me, but I'll let you guys know what the plan is. But anyway, thank you for watching. And once again, I want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and all that good stuff. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.